Hello, welcome to the Accelerize website. This is a brief tutorial designed to show you how you can accelerate your MATLAB code on the graphics processing unit or GPU. Jacket makes this really easy to do with a few key functions. One of those is GINFO that gives you system specs about your GPUs. So in this system we have two CUDA capable GPUs. One is a Tesla C1060 with four gigabytes of RAM it's capable of single and double precision arithmetic and it's the one that's currently in use. We also have a GeForce for visualization purposes and I'll provide a teaser of our graphics toolbox a little later. Since we'll be running a benchmark I want to show you we're running in Windows XP with a dual core CPU. Okay, now let me show you how we can use Jacket. We all know that we can create a matrix of random numbers in MATLAB using MATLAB's RAND command. So here I create a 1024 by 1024 matrix. Similarly in Jacket we can create a matrix on the GPU using Jacket's G double command and simply cast A to A underscore and now A underscore is a 1024 by 1024 double precision uh, matrix that lives on the GPU. And that's as, as simple as it gets. Now we can do everything to A underscore that we would want to do with A, but the difference is, is that any operation we run on A underscore is going to get executed on the GPU and going to get accelerated. So for instance, uh, if we want to do a, a, a silly command where we just take the 31st element of A, multiply it by the 54th element of A, of a we can do that, and we can run the exact same thing uh, on the GPU. And notice that the result now is a GPU result. Any function that you run on a GPU value will result in a GPU value. And so, so if you chain a lot of functions together, you're going to get uh, optimized kernels running on the GPU with Jacket automatically for you. You don't have to do any GPU specific coding. And then at the end of the day, if, if you want to bring uh, the result back to the CPU, you just use MATLAB's regular old uh, casting command to bring that back to the CPU, and we can run that, and B now is the same as uh, answer was, but it now lives on the CPU. In Jacket 1.3, we have a bunch of new features. We have a, a lot of new linear algebra functions uh, with the Jacket DLA uh, add-on, a double precision linear algebra. Uh, we have LU, uh, QR, SVD, matrix inverse, uh, eigenvalue decomposition, and, and, and many other functions, uh, ML divide, for instance, uh, that will help you in solving linear systems. In this uh, simple uh, snippet of code, I'm going to benchmark the LU function for you uh, uh, right here. So I'm going to create a 1500 by 1500 matrix of random numbers in double precision on the CPU, uh, and then the GPU is also going to be double precision. I'm going to run that uh, for five iterations uh, and then take the average to get the CPU time. And same exact code down here with the exception of a few additions with the G-Sync and g -evals. Uh These are necessary uh, to get an accurate timing uh, due to Jacket's lazy evaluation optimization that it makes. These are only, these keywords, G-Sync and GLVAL, are only needed when you're doing timing of snippets of code. Uh, they're not needed in, in general practice. Uh, and then at the end of the day, I'm going to print out the GPU speed up, which is the CPU time divided by the GPU time. Okay, so let's, let's run this. The script is called LU underscore example. I'm going to run that. It'll take a few seconds. And boom, there we go. We got 4.5x speed up. Uh, the GPU took 0 0.08 seconds. The CPU took 0.38 seconds, and, and the inputs are uh, X there, and the outputs were Z there. And then to show you really quickly, uh, we can look at X underscore and Z underscore. We can look at those directly on the GPU with Jacket's Graphics Toolbox, which does cool OpenGL rendering. We can use, for instance, the G image command to look at these matrices. So X underscore is just good, that random matrix. It's not going to be uh, 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 too interesting, just a uh, uh, random uh, image there, but Z, the LU decomposition is then uh, looks like this uh, a sort of diagonal image there. I encourage you to check out Jacket, check out the graphics toolbox, check out the double precision linear algebra. It's all cool and new stuff in Jacket 1.3.
Thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Bye.